being able to talk to God about our problems. Talk to God about our problems? Can you all talk to God at the same time? Like a conference call or something? That's fucking incredible. Does he speak in an accent? Does he have a sense of humour? If you picked a number, say, between 1 and 10 during your chat, could you all open your eyes and know the number? Have you asked him about, like, say, the cure for cancer? This is a scientific breakthrough. This is going to change the world. Fuck. I've got so many questions. How did this all come about? Yeah. Don't worry about that noise. You've got to explain this to me. Like, how, how is it that you can all talk to God at the same time? Yeah. Come on. You guys are going to completely ignore that question and concentrate on this sound, aren't you? Yeah. Fuck you, cunts. Hey, it's Toby from Newcastle. Hey, Toby. Hi, Hi Toby. Toby. We were just about to get the cure for cancer, Toby, but your Skype call is much more important. Now, what the fuck do you want? Hi, Rockfish. I need a little advice. Sure, Toby. What's up? Well, there's this guy at school. He's the biggest boy in the school, and for some reason, he just keeps picking on me, teasing me, saying really mean things about me in front of all the other kids. I've never done anything mean to him. I've always stayed out of his way. I'll handle this one, guys. Now, Toby, you've got to stop being such a little pussy and harden the fuck up. Is there any reason this kid thinks you're a complete faggot? He knows I joined God's family a few weeks ago in scripture class. Well, there's your answer, kid. Good chat. That's awesome, that Toby. Awesome, Toby. I mean, yeah, that's that's awesome, Toby. You know what, Toby? That's the best decision that you're ever going to make. Yeah. Yeah, totally, Toby. Best best decision. But that's when it all started. I don't know what to do. Oh, I can't lie to you, kid. It was a terrible decision. So if you're not figuratively copying it up the ass from some skeptic on the internet, you'll be literally copying it up the ass from some priest. If I were you, I'd run. Toby, when you join God's family, you don't have to worry about facing your giants on your own. Mm. God knows everything that's going on in your life, and he's promised to always be there for us. You irresponsible fucks, don't tell him that. What if the kid, like, jumps off a cliff and starts flapping his arms in the belief that God's going to be there for him? For fuck's sake. That's right, Toby. You know, God has thousands of ways he can deal with this problem. Sometimes he even uses people to help. Yeah. Like the time God used Albert Einstein to come up with the theory of relativity, or when he invented the light bulb by using Thomas Edison, or just recently when he landed a spacecraft on a comet by using Shirtgate's Matt Taylor. Yep, God's a pretty talented bloke. Maybe it's time you talk to a parent or a teacher about it. Now Toby, where it gets tricky is where you have two opposing forces both praying to the same God, like in World War I when both the English and the German forces were asking for God's help. Being a racist through and through, God typically favours the side with the whitest skin, like when he let the fair-skinned Romans capture and crucify his son Jesus. That may seem a little odd, as we all know God himself is black, but he does after all work in mysterious ways. Are we flirting? And the important thing to remember is to ask God for help. Tell mummy and daddy what you want for Christmas just in case, but the important thing is to ask Santa for what you want. Do you really think he will listen? Absolutely. In the Bible it says, I'll never let you down, never walk off and leave you. And even though we were only speaking with God two minutes ago, we don't need to ask him. He got some 2,000 year old inbred Middle Eastern Jews to tell us through a book of weird fucked up fairy tales. We can boldly quote, God is there, ready to help. I'm fearless, no matter what. Quote it however you like, it's still a load of shit. Mm -hmm. Toby, we'd love to pray with you right now. Is that okay? That would be great. Thanks. Dear God, thank you that Toby has chosen to join your family. He's going through a tough time at school right now, and he really needs your help. Thank you for helping us with the giants we face. Amen. 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 Get fucked. Hey, Toby, your situation feels very similar to something we're going through right now. You mean something you're going through? Listen, I'm just not interested in you, all right? You're not my type. And just before you called, we were praying, and God reminded us of the story of David and Goliath. Yeah, I really loved that story. It's such a relief to know that God will take care of my enemies for me. Oh, yeah, of course he will, Toby. I mean, you don't have to do a thing. Just go and create heaps of enemies, and God will take care of it. Fuck it. I just have to stop worrying and trust that God will take care of me. That's it, kid. Now go pick some fights you can't possibly win on your own. 
You're absolutely right, Toby. We'll be praying for you. Hey, make sure you call us back and let us know how it goes, all right? For sure. I'll be praying for you too, Rockfish. Thanks, Toby. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye.